Hello YouTube, this is Bash bringing you here for week uh, number 8. We are up against King Clyde and the Inglewood Infernape. Before I say anything in this match, uh, the team builder for this was a little rushed. Uh, so, as well as the, um, well, my at least my buildings, I guess, for this week. Uh, I didn't prepare as well as, well as I could because uh, I was gone for a couple of days. Uh, so I kind of uh, and uh, people were and a lot of my FO was on uh, vacation kind of thing and we're gone that week so we just kind of had a rule with this um, go over the team uh, what he had and what I had um, he has Mega Dancy, Zerora Arcanine, uh, Skarmory, uh, Reunion Eclipse, Vaporeon, Star Actor, Celebi, Rotel, and Frost, Gudra with Z Captains being Zeror, Growth and Frost, Ad Megalodio, Sweet Coon, Sylveon, Alola, Muck, Dawn, Fan, Call, Kelder, Scizor, Jolteon, Darmanitan, Regirock, Go Go, Meowstic, uh, Z Captains being Go Go, Dawn, Fan, and Jolteon. Um, and then my team, I'll go over really brief. If uh, if you want more of a uh, description, <coughs> sorry about that, of uh, what we are actually bringing. Uh, put in the description below. We got Reggie Rock here with Rocky Helmet, Stealth Rocks, Earthquake, Rock Slide, Rest. Then we got Slim Shady, the Alola Muck with the Eye Apple Berry, uh, Recycle, Knock Off, Clear Smug, Poison Jab. Make a lot of with Recycle, Psy Shock, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, Mayhem, the Jolteon with Toy Specs, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball, HP Ground, Scizor, the uh, Tony Starks with Aqua Berry, Bullet Punch, U Turn, Defog Roost, and Sylveon, uh, with leftovers with wish protect calm mind hyper voice so um things to know i uh well i did think he was gonna bring reuniclus um everything else i was kind of like all right about seeing possibly uh as i said i didn't really look too much into it but uh, i did want to note that if i win this one this match or the one of the next two matches after that I clinch playoffs, uh, clinch playoffs, or I believe if, <clears throat> I forgot exactly, I don't want to go into, just in case of spoilers and all that, so I'm not going to really talk about, I guess, that, <clears throat> yeah, well, so looking at team matchup, <clears throat> Red Rock is really there now for the Arcanites, actually, or, <clears throat> um, because it was there for initially for the Star Actor, but Star Actor didn't come, which I kind of I kind of saw that it wasn't going to come, but I still had to prep for it because it could really uh, blow my team back if I'm not prepped for it. Um, if I said if you if you guys checked out the team builder, <clears throat> I did say that this game is literally going to come down to me making the right plays with Jolteon. If I don't make the right plays, I will I will lose a hundred percent. If I make the right plays, I will win. I guarantee that's what the thing is. Jolteon does incredible amounts every single one of his mods it absolutely annihilates him it pretty much two shots i think i think his entire team with this set so i have to make the, the right decisions with it so i believe i lead off with scissor i don't remember this uh, this game happened a little bit a while ago i want let off with jolteon I, as i said two shots everything on his team i could go for the bull switch here or i could go for the shadow ball I believe I go for the Shadow Ball turn. Oh, go for the Volt Switch. I didn't think Zero was going to come in this early. He goes into Cel uh, he's in Celebi. I'm going to want a little Muck. A little Muck is pretty nice against Celebi here. I almost went Scizor, but I didn't want to lose the Aqua Berry because Scizor could give me a, de uh, a one, like a switch a K like into Mega Diancy just in case of HG Fire. I didn't want to lose the HG uh, Aqua Berry right away. So, that was that. I believe here I go for the knockoff or I do I double? I go for the knockoff, I think, here. And I get off the leftovers. I go Reggie Rock here. Uh, he goes for Toxic here. Um, <clears throat> and pretty much, uh, I'm going to set up my rocks here, I think, at this point. I could have made a dub out into uh, Jolteon here, but I'm going to get my rocks up here. Uh, I'm going to go out to Jolteon now. <clears throat> And expecting the zero, or I'm gonna go for a Volt Switch. I probably should have went for. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Shadow Ball. Uh, each Shadow Ball, yeah, for a Shadow Ball. I should have went for a Volt Switch. 
I'm predicting that, but he knows I'm choice spec, so now he's just got to free pretty much another spike, or he could do whatever he wants with this, because he's in full posi uh, position. Oh, well, he makes a double into Celebi here. Very surprising. I guess he predicted my switch out, um, which is pretty good, I guess, on his part, because uh, if I click Shadow Ball again, uh, Celebi's pretty much dead. Like, Celebi's not going to want to deal with that. Um, it was pretty much dying after that. So I'm going to make a audios. I'm switching out to Scizor. <clears throat> I want to get that U-turn damage off. He goes for the Parish Song, which is very interesting. A very cool tech on Celebi. I'm just going to U-turn out, though. So, it's not really going to be that much of a deal. He goes for a sub. Um, maybe he's like a sub protect this uh, Parish Song set. Maybe for the Suicune, possibly. Uh, just something to know. But I get to go into Jolteon here. I can go for the Shadow Ball. Uh, I, wa I, was I really wanted to hear to click Shadow Ball. Um, I really wanted to click Shadow Ball here. Uh, but I think I click both switch and uh, this is pretty much gonna cost. Uh, as I said, the right predictions. I have not made any a single right prediction. Well, except for the first one. Um, really, sort of. But every single one since then, I have not made a right position. He goes for a workup, and <clears throat> here we go. Uh, goes I get poison damage off on me, and he goes for the grass knot. Takes me out. By the way, if he's this a set that I'm thinking, which by the way, <clears throat> this that was rocky hammer damage. He's not life orb. Um, there are was, I believe, if he was a naive set, um, <clears throat> then that was a, ver a high roll for him to get a, a grass knot kill right there with Regirock. Uh, depends on how much investment he has in special attack. Uh, I, that was a, a, a less than, uh, unless he, <clears throat> unless he got, had a decent amount of special attack, um, that was a roll, and I should have lived that, but oh well, um. It's rolls kind of game that happens in this Pokemon. So I go to Sylveon and I'm going to make a huge uh, misplay. Well, not really, but not yet. But I'm going to go for a Hyper Voice. He goes for another workup. And that doesn't. 49% does a lot. Nice. Uh, here's where I made the misplay. I should have sacked uh, Scizor or Lord Muck. One of the two right there, right here. Uh, that's what I should have done. Um, but I go for Protect on the Z move. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much gonna be game. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, we uh, that that play of me taking the extra damage allows him to take me out with Plasma Fist the next turn. Uh, total misplay on my part. Um, with the the roll, yeah, uh, the roll kind of sucked early with Reggie Rock, but I made the misplay here. Uh, that pretty much cost me the game. So I mean, there was ways I could prevent to that. Uh, he goes for the dual chop, which is cool tech. Um, because I lived the knockoff actually, so uh, very interesting to note. Um, he goes into Scizor, and I'm not looking at Plasma Fist. I'm not taking that with Blow Punch. So, yep, uh, that's pretty much uh, pretty much GG at this point, um, I believe. And actually, apparently, based off of what he said, um, Jolteon actually, uh, Jolteon and Zeror are actually speed tied. So, there was another chance of me to uh, get maybe get another kill or off or something like that. Uh, but no, we're not gonna win that anyway. So. Uh, GG to Zor <laughs> GG to Clyde. Uh, yeah, we took a pretty bad L uh, this week. I didn't have that much time to prep as I usually would want to, and I didn't have the my FO uh, was on a lot of them are busy this week. So uh, hopefully we can come back next week uh, for Doctor Slacking. Uh, I really would love to put up a, a better fight than I did this week because that was just ugly. Um, yeah, there's no other way to say this. We're six and we're six one plus twelve. I, I should not be getting six out right now, but it happens. So uh, we're just gonna have to learn from it. <clears throat> learn to. Um, well, first off, I learned from my mistake of choice specs Jolteon and the fact that I literally could have, if I made the right plays with that, I would have won. Honestly. Um, second of all. Uh, Sylveon, learn from that. I should have switched out there, sacked off uh, one another Mon to get uh, Sylveon in for free. And third of all, um, yeah, should have just prepped better. Uh, should have had something to outspeed Zero. Uh, that's my own fault. I thought I, had, I thought these sets were going to be good. Sylveon could actually one v one a lot of his team if he didn't have Whirlwind slash Taunt slash Toxic on Arcanine or Skarmory. Um, uh, Little Muck was really there for the Reuniclus and Slash Mega Dancy. 
which uh, Rian Clis didn't show up, which I really thought was coming. Um, even as Assault Vest, Rian Clis I thought was coming because of, with the Regenerator, which could have been nice for Megalodi uh, the cover of Megalodios, because uh, Meg he did not switch into Megalodios well. Um, surprised uh, about the fact that uh, he actually brought Celebi, but that's probably his was his way to deal with Suicune. So, oh, not much else to say. GG to King Clyde. Uh, he brought. He did what he had to do. He got up a spike and he pretty much destroyed my team with a Zeror. Uh, so, uh, thank you. <clears throat> Sorry about this match. Uh, <clears throat> hopefully, we'll be back better next week um, with some better prep, I guess. But thank you so much for watching. Until next time, or uh, until next week, Bash.